There's nothing really special about side base special right triangles other than the fact that they have all integers. So what I mean by that is all the sides have integer lengths. There's no fraction, no decimal stuff going on here. And there's a whole bunch of them. But I only care about two. It's my old friend. I don't know I keep saying that, but I do. The 3, 4, 5, and then the 5, 12, 13. Now, these are the two that will show up time and time again on test day. Do you absolutely strictly need to know them? No. But can you save a lot of time and maybe get a couple more answers right just because you're extra comfortable? Absolutely. Super, super helpful skill. So 3, 4, 5, let's just walk through how these work. Uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. We did this before on the last right triangle video uh, as well. So 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Perfect square, perfect square, perfect square. 3, 4, 5. This one is unique in that uh, we didn't do this in the last tri right triangle video. We did it in a similar triangle video. Excuse me. This one is unique in that it works in multiples. It works just as well, get rid of this marker, with a 6, 8, 10, or a 9, 12, uh, 9, 12 15. And these, those are the three you'll see. The 3, 4, 5, 3 times 2 is 6, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10. And you will, from time to time, see the, the 9, 12, 15. Um, of course, that's 3 times 3, 4 times 3, 5 times 3. 5, 12, 13... If we plug that in the Pythagorean theorem, we got 5 squared plus uh, 12 squared is equal to 13 squared, or 25 plus 144 is equal to 169. And of course, you can see maybe with a little work that the math does work out. This also works in one multiple, which would be the 10, 24, 26. And you'll see this one. Not quite as common, uh, but you do see it from time to time. There's nothing else I can really say to you other than to memorize these. Uh, best way to, to remember them is just to really kind of like want to remember them. And when you practice, look for them and you'll see them popping up all over the place. Particularly in questions that aren't strict right triangle questions, right? Things like um, the distance uh, formula occasionally or combination shapes questions. Uh, sometimes when you have those weird... Uh, uh, weird crazy polygons and you're finding the distance between these two points on them. I mean, they can show up in the, the oddest places, but they do show up over and over again. And it's not just the calculation you say. It's like when you find one of those, you just know you're on the right track. I'm going to flip into a full screen mode to do this little problem at the bottom of the screen because I think it'll be easier to look. This is a good example of a uh, question you could save a lot of time on if you knew your special rights. So we got a word question here. They describe a diagram. We're going to draw it. We got a ladder leaning against the building. And that ladder is 20 feet long. So the ladder is leaning. So that's going to be our hypotenuse. It's 16 feet high, and we're looking for this. Almost identical to the problem we just did in the, um, in the last video on the Pythagorean theorem. Of course, you could solve this using the Pythagorean theorem. You could say, well, a squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared, you could do uh, 16 squared plus b squared is 20 squared, same thing. But you don't have to, right? Because uh, if you recognize that this is a multiple of a 3, 4, 5, right? 5 times 4 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16. Well, then this would have to be 3 times 4, which is 12. So it's a time saver there. Again, the real beauty of this, of the 3, 4, 5, the 5, 12, 13, isn't in these problems. It's in the multi-component problems. It's in the, it's in the combination shapes problems. It's in the trig problems. That's where this really, really pays off. Check that stuff out. And if you're, uh, uh, if you're trying to get a top score, you know, or if you're trying to pick up the trig points as one of your special topics to get up to the upper 20s or something, then make sure you watch the next video on the angle-based special right triangles because that could be really helpful for that as well.